Welcome to AIBTM's Video Dailies, brought to you by Lanyon. AIBTM is being held this year for the first time in Chicago. It's a wonderful city and I couldn't help but come along to the Chicago stand to find out what holding an event like this means to the city and to get an update on the latest facilities. Don Welsh, we're on the Chicago stand. You're with Choose Chicago. Now, what's it like having AIBTM in your city? It's thrilling. Uh, we began working on this, uh, this project about a year ago and to see the meetings that have taken place and uh, the planning sessions that have taken place both here and uh, elsewhere, to see the culmination of them in the building, uh, it's exciting. And what value do you think it adds to Chicago with respect to it being a meetings and events destination? You know, we, we've built the reputation over the years, uh, rightfully so, as one of the greatest meeting destinations in the country. However, you know, what AIBTM does is sort of spreads our message out. It uh, gives us a little bit more of an international focus. Uh, it allows us now to, to have customers that come into the city potentially who've never been here before or considered Chicago. So it was a perfect opportunity and a perfect audience for us to focus on. Now, we're in McCormick Place, which is a stunning venue complex, actually. You, can't, you couldn't call it a venue, could you really? No. Um, tell us a little bit more about the city and what it's got to offer. City right now is, uh, I think if you look at it distinctively, uh, we keep hearing when people have not been to Chicago, they're, they're taken back by the beauty of the city, the cleanliness of the city. Um, you, you think about the hotels, the hotel package. We have 100 hotels plus downtown, 30, almost 36,000 rooms. We just added uh, another 500 rooms here at McCormick Place at the Hyatt. So we have 1,200 rooms here. Great restaurants in the city. We've become one of the culinary uh, capitals of the world. One of the few uh, cities in the United States of three that have their own Michelin uh, guide. So food and, and great environment, uh, many things to do, shopping, retail, theater, uh, we have it all. We're very fortunate. And I think that's really allowed us to build the reputation over the years, along with this 2.6 million square foot um, facility uh, as McCormick Place as a great meeting destination. Now, what's really struck me as I've been going around Chicago, because believe it or not, it's my first time in Chicago this week. So once well, good, again, thank you. Thank you for thank having you. me. You know? We appreciate that. <laughs> I've, I've noticed the rejuvenation of the city. Um, last night we were in the, the old meatpacking district, right. which has become really trendy now, hasn't it? It is. Uh, the city continues. You know, we're a city of neighborhoods. We're fortunate we've got a great, vibrant downtown core. But what's beginning to happen is the city is sort of moving outside the, the downtown boundaries. So um, when you look at great restaurants and clubs in the, in the meatpacking area, some of the greatest restaurants uh, in, the, in the country. Girl and the Goat that we constantly hear about is located there. Uh, Blackbird, Avec, and some of these restaurants that are cutting edge, they're all out in that area now. But, uh, you know, it's a, it's a close taxi ride to downtown. Um, and, um, you know, we're very fortunate. No, you are. I think you really are on that particular side of things as well, because certainly the restaurant I went in last night, it was, you know, it had so much potential as a smaller venue. So you've got huge palaces like this. And then you've got, you know, lots and lots of micro venues on the ground, haven't you? We do. We, uh, we're fortunate we've got great uh, off-site venues uh, for if, if somebody wants to have a function uh, outside of being in McCormick. We have the luxury of a great museum campus. We've got some of the greatest uh, art and culinary. Music is big, you know, in the DNA of Chicago, whether it's blues or jazz or gospel. Uh, so, you know, all of a sudden you can find uh, Buddy Guy uh, playing one night, a legendary Buddy Guy, and be in his club. And all of a sudden you're sitting there listening to the music and... And Buddy Guy's playing for you. So it's, uh, we're very, very fortunate to have a depth of art and culture and music and theater and great culinary. An example of one of the new venues within Chicago is the City Winery. And I'm joined by Todd and Rita, who run the place. Todd, first of all, talk us through the event spaces that uh, your place offers. Yeah, we've got a lot of flexible event spaces. We can, uh, just this week, we did an event for 950 people that rented out the whole venue. We have an outdoor area. Uh, we have a full functioning winery. Um, we also have a really strong wedding program. So we can do weddings up to 200, 220. Um, and then a lot of great intimate, small business executive style uh, boardrooms. So a, a wonderful event for 30 people with a, and we pair that with a winery tour. So a lot of great, interesting textures in the facility. You know, I was there last night, actually, and it was a, it's a wonderful venue with a wonderful atmosphere and lots of surprises because you've got this kind of space which is surrounded by the wine vats where you have like a boardroom layout. That's right. Um, that's actually our barrel room. It's one of our most popular spaces um, from an event planning standpoint. Um, and, you know, it's really amazing that the building itself, just we just um, were nominated and won um, the 2013 Vision Award from the Urban Land Institute um, on the design of the building and the architecture of the building. With respect to accessibility, what's Chicago like? 
You know what, we're fortunate. Uh, we're one of the top airports in the world. Uh, we have two airports here, of course, O'Hare being the largest, Midway being uh, almost a neighborhood airport. But we move 85 million people a year between the two airports. And in terms of international accessibility, we have over 170 nonstops uh, a day coming in just from overseas. As an example, we have uh, six nonstops a day between here and China. Uh, we have 10 a day between here and London. And um, so we find that, that, of course, for domestic visitors, uh, even out of North America, very easy to get in and out of Chicago. But for our international visitors, we're seeing growth there because very efficient use of time. One flight, nonstop, get here and uh, be able to conduct your business. So ease of getting here has always been a, a, a great strength of our city. Yeah, really important when it comes to meeting professionals as well. Don, that's great. Thanks for talking to me. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.